Okay, this is a general chemistry tutorial on how an electron emits light from an atom. So we'll just draw a simple atom here. Um, here's the nucleus, and remember the nucleus is positively charged. And electrons um, orbit the nucleus according to Bohr. They orbit the nucleus in fixed pathways. So the first energy level we will designate N equals 1. The second energy level, we're going to give it the designation, sorry that that's not perfectly circular, N equals 2. And then the third energy level, which you'll notice is slightly closer to the second energy level than the second energy level was to the first, so N equals 3. And then, of course, if we had a fourth energy level, um, that energy level um, would be N equals 4. I'm just not going to continue it all the way around. So we have an electron orbiting the nucleus in the first energy level. And um, let's say some energy comes into that electron. So here's some incoming energy. Now, that energy can be in any form um, as long as it's enough to get this electron excited. So this electron is currently in what we call its ground state. So it is orbiting the nucleus where it should in its ground state. And it absorbs this energy. And if it absorbs enough energy, it's going to excite the electron up to a higher energy level. And then that electron is now orbiting in that next energy level. Well, just like you, when you get all hyper from drinking caffeine, you can't hold on to that forever. So eventually, you are going to lose that energy, just like this electron will, and it's going to fall back to its ground state. When that happens, the energy that it absorbed, it's now going to release. And it always releases that energy as some type of light. So the incoming energy can be anything. It can be electricity, heat, other kinds of light. But the outgoing energy is always light. Sometimes that's visible. Sometimes it's not. And just because I forgot to write it, this state where it goes from its ground state up to this upper level, this is called the excited state of the electron. So it, went, it absorbed energy jumped up to an excited state, dropped back down to its ground state, and released light. Now, you'll notice that the energy levels get closer to each other the further you get from the nucleus. They don't really get closer in like distance, but they do get closer in energy. And what that means is, if you have an electron, say, out here in our n equals 3 energy level, it would take less energy to get that electron excited. So the incoming amount of energy would be smaller, so I drew the arrow smaller. And that would be less energy to get it excited to the next energy level. And if you think about it, it makes sense that it would take less energy to get it excited because that electron is further from the nucleus than this electron. And since the nucleus is positive and the electrons are negative, then one that's further from the nucleus is just less pulled on by the nucleus, so it takes less energy for it to get excited. So then when it falls back down to its ground state and it emits light, the amount of light or the type of light that it emits is going to have a lower frequency or less energy than the light that was emitted from that bigger jump down here from n equals 1 to n equals 2. And that's, in general, how light is emitted from an atom.